Welcome to Jesus Calling for November 27th. Let thankfulness rule in your heart. I love that. Let's look at Colossians 3.15 and Acts 9.18. Colossians 3.15 says, Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom, as you sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. And then Acts 9.18, we're talking about Saul. And immediately, something like scales fell from Saul's eyes, and he could see again. He got up and was baptized, and after taking some food, he regained his strength. Let thankfulness rule in your heart. As you thank me for blessings in your life, a marvelous thing happens. It is as if scales fall off your eyes, enabling you to see more and more of my glorious riches. With your eyes thus opened, you can help yourself to whatever you need from my treasure house. Each time you receive one of my golden gifts, let your thankfulness sing out praises to my name. Alleluia's are the language of heaven, and they have become the language of your heart. A life of praise and thankfulness becomes a life filled with miracles. Instead of trying to be in control, you focus on me and what I am doing. This is the power of praise, centering your entire being on me. This is how I created you to live, for I made you in my own image. Enjoy abundant life by overflowing with praise and thankfulness. I love that. I love that. I love that line right here. A life of praise and thankfulness becomes a life filled with miracles. That's a really awesome line. I love that. And I'm going to read this other one one more time too. Let thankfulness rule in your heart. And as you thank me for blessings in your life, a marvelous thing happens as if scales fall off your eyes so you can see more of my glorious riches. And you know, my friends, I really believe that's true. I mean, if you have a thankful heart, you just see things differently. And it's like you just see things clearer and you're just more grateful and you can just see God working. And it's just so nice. You know, when you start giving thanks and praise, it's like it really just melts your heart and all the worries that you have kind of just seem to just go away. And so I hope today you have a thankful heart full of praise and those scales of all the world and all your troubles are just falling off your eyes and you're just seeing him for the glorious God that he is. Have a wonderful day thanking and praising him and we'll see you back here tomorrow. You can order your own Jesus Calling devotional book by going to JesusCalling.com. And I would love to answer any questions you may have about faith in Jesus. Just email me through my website, nancyjoytoyou.com. And I hope you go out and shine for Him today. See you tomorrow.